the, those casinos can be fucking weird. Like the ones they can that, suck or they can be great. That was a great one, but they you, <laughs> they hit or miss. You're right. Those Indian ones in Connecticut. Oh fucking Christ! <laughs> you don't know what you're getting, especially the people. Like Connecticut. Connecticut is a fucking strange state. <laughs> you got people around the edges that are near Boston or that that are near right. New York that are cool. They're, they're like kind of like ah, I didn't want to live in the city. I like I want a yard. So they go to Connecticut. Right. And then you got those fucking deep weirdos that live in those places where you have to drive five miles an hour because deer <laughs> jumping across the yeah, road every yeah. five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. You got uh, urban, <clears throat> you got Hartford, then you got, uh, you know, the woods, and then you got the snooty people in uh, Greenwich. And Hartford West is Port. surprisingly shitty. I like, know. You think of Hartford, Connecticut, it sounds regal. Like Hartford, Connecticut. It probably was at one time. Yeah. It's, uh, you know what I mean? Waterbury, Connecticut. Yeah. We used to be like a textile. It was unbelievable. Back in the 50s, it was a beautiful city. Now, you know. Yeah, I used to do gigs in Waterbury. Get a bowler driving through there. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a rough area. There's a lot of rough spots there. My wife's from outside of Waterbury. <clears throat> yeah, it ain't, it ain't the best place to stop. She's and, a witch doctor. Did I mention that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's from a little town from outside of Waterbury. But, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some nice people there, but they're all dying to get out. 